Hello guys, welcome back to another video. We have received a new DJI Fly app update that is version 1.8.0 and if you ask me what's new in this version, this version has few bug fixes and there is a change in DJI Fly app interface and uh, as a part of this video we will also be doing the test of the hack. So we will be bypassing the 15 meters in this video and we will be checking what all new things we are getting and thirdly we will be checking if uh, we there is any bug fix that is present in this uh, particular version uh, as previously i had heard many users were facing a signal loss after flying their drone at some range like uh, maybe it may be 50 meters or around 90 meters so we will be flying our drone one kilometer of distance and we'll be checking the connection as well after this upgrade so without wasting much of the time let's quickly get into the video guys so guys here we have the old version of DJI flap this version is 1.75 when you go to the about session this is how we can see the app version uh, aircraft firmware or fly safe database and in the safety settings when you go to the advanced safety settings everything is uh, same in so far and when we go to the controls especially in the gimbal settings here you can see that cine mode sports mode normal mode everything has a pitch speed and pitch smoothness everything is merged in one slide where it gets confused to change between the settings of this gimbal settings and the main disadvantage over here is whenever we change any setting in the normal mode or cine mode and when we hit on the reset everything gets resetted uh, nothing like uh, only cine mode will be reset or uh, only normal mode it's not like that this is the drawback of the old version now let's go upgrade our uh, DJI Fly app to the latest version that is version 1.8.0 as I did not get the update on the DJI Fly app I went to the official website and downloaded the DJI Fly app externally if you guys too did not get the notification of the new update you can visit the official website and download the new version of DJI Fly app so now we have installed our new version of DJI Fly app I'll show you when we go to the about session here you can see that uh, the interface is little bit changed when compared to the old version here you can see that uh, our app version is mentioned at the top and uh, like aircraft firmware is also mentioned bottom and fly safe database also has the drop down where you can see the app static safety data and aircraft safety data this is the one difference that we can see in the about session of the app interface apart from this when we come out of the settings we cannot see any difference over the outer core of the application when we come to the video settings auto mode or the flight check map everything is same as per the uh, older version that is version 1.7.9 and the other thing is when we come to the safety settings that is also same and the main thing is when we come to the controls here we will see that gain and expose setting uh, here we have the three different sections for cine normal and sports here we can change the uh, max angular velocity, yaw, yaw softness, everything we can change for based on the cine, cine mode or normal mode or sports mode. Everything is not messed up in one slide. This is the one major interface change that we can see in the new version of uh, DJI Flap. As I said earlier, in the previous version, we were not able to reset one particular section like cine mode, normal mode or sports mode. But in this new version, we will be able to do that. Let me show you the demo. In the cine mode, as you can see on the screen, your smoothness was set to 8 and I have slid it to 27. And in the normal mode, your smoothness was set to 4 and I have slid it to 18. And I will switch back to cine and uh, scroll the page down. I will hit on reset. When I click on reset, uh, you can see the yaw smoothness of the cine mode will come back to 8 but in fact the normal mode will be as set to 18 itself so that means whenever we hit a reset it will be only affected to cine or normal that is the best part of this update uh, so whatever settings we are doing on the normal sports or cine that will be stayed even if we reset one particular section so apart from that we will not see any difference in the interface of the DJI Flap like camera, transmission, everything will be same as the older version. So we have an additional feature in this application. That one we will check it in the later part of the video. Now let's uh, bypass the 15 meters. As you can see on the screen, the max altitude is set to 15 meters. So in this video, we will be uh, using free version of Rainbow application to try bypassing this 15 meters. 
सो गाइज नाउ आई हैव स्विच्ड माई डी जे एफ लैप टू रेमबो एप्लीकेशन वी हैव टू कीप आर डी जे एफ लैप रनिंग इन द बैकग्राउंड एज यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन वेन एवर यू ओपन दी रेमबो एप्लीकेशन यू नीड टू अनप्लग एंड प्लग योर केबल ऑफ योर फोन एज यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन देन आफ्टर दैट वंस योर फोन इज कनेक्टेड टू योर आर सी एंड रेमबो ऐप स्टार्ट फेचिंग अप द डेटा You need to go to the settings. You need to open the aircraft settings here in the max altitude. You have to type 500 and hit it on OK. Once you see the successful message, you have to switch back to the DJI flap and just unplug and plug your cable as you can see on the screen now. So this method is free of cost and you can use the free Rainbow application to bypass your 15 meters. The application does not need any internet connection. That is the advantageous part of this method. I'll be adding the link in the i button as well as the description. You can check out about the detailed uh, video about this hack process. As you can see on the screen now, the max altitude has been changed from 15 to 500 meters. That means hack has been applied perfectly. As you can see on the screen, guys, our height has been exceeding 15 meters without any error message or any warning popping up. So we will be able to fly our drone more than 15 meters even with the latest version of application. so the other improvement that we can see with this latest version of dji flap is auto adjustment of the exposure whenever we hit on any area of the video on the screen as you can see on the screen now uh, the exposure is getting auto corrected immediately so this immediate response was not present with the older version of dji flap so you can utilize this feature only if your uh, exposure or shutter speed is in auto mode If you are shooting the video or photo in the auto mode, then only you can utilize this feature. Apart from this, many people were complaining about the connection. Whenever they were flying their drone more than 50 meters or 100 meters, they were observing the disconnection from the RC to the drone. In fact, I did not notice this even after upgrading my firmware or DJI Flap. But after updating this uh, particular DJI Flap version, I have observed many people saying that. this issue has been resolved so i tried flying my drone at around 800 meters of distance and uh, even though i did not observe any uh, signal loss so you guys try flying your drone more than 100 meters or 200 meters and let me know in the comment section whether you guys are still facing the signal loss even after upgrading to the latest version of dji fly so that's it for this video guys in the next video i'll be telling you guys the best settings that you can put up on your dji fly app to make your gimbal movement smooth if you guys are interested to know the best settings that you can put up please comment below and let me know so that's it for this video guys i hope you have liked this video and found this video informative if you guys found this video informative do hit a like button and subscribe to the channel we'll meet in the next video till then take care bye bye